Okay, so this is Chris Byers. It's uh, September 28th. I'm going to make a quick video for the chemistry students and, and show how we're going to be uploading some assignments. Hopefully this is going to be a little bit easier than using the Teachers Pay Teachers PDF utility. We shall see. Okay, so here we go. So the next assignment we're going to be doing, this is going to be tomorrow night, is assignments and it's going to be ion configurations right here. So if you click on Ion Configurations, there's the PDF that you would normally see in the Teachers Pay Teachers Utility. We're going to upload it a little differently. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the PDF up here. okay, And that's going to download it to your downloads directory, wherever that is. If you're on a Chromebook, PC, or Mac, it's going to be there. All right. Now you're going to make a new window, and you're going to go to PDF Escape. It's just one of the many PDF editors. Um, so we're going to give it a shot and see how it works. So click PDF Escape. And if you have a PC, you can download to your de desktop, but you don't need to. What you can do is go to the free online version right here. Click the free online version. And then you're going to upload your PDF to PDF Escape. This is going to be the PDF that you just downloaded to your computer from Canvas. So click that. Find the file that you just downloaded and you're going to dump it into the drag drop right there. And it's going to open the PDF pretty much just like on the Teachers Pay Teachers PDF utility. The upside of this one is when you're doing this utility, um, it, you can actually send it right to Canvas. So I don't have to look at both two, two utilities. So when you say, I turned it in, you can look at your assignment that you already turned in. It's not locked behind a wall. Um, so yeah, so you can actually see what you turned in. All right, so um, ion configurations, again, this is the next assignment, and lithium plus one, you probably already figured out. Uh, if you were listening to the lecture yesterday, I'm going to post this actually on the 28th. We'll talk about this on the 29th. Um, when lithium is plus one, it's lost an electron, so it's got two electrons, and there you go. That's the teacher and me. Now let's get to this. All right, uh, oxygen minus two. It's an ion configuration. So we're going to hit text right here. Gonna make a box. Actually, we make a box down here. Change the color. Let's do blue. I like blue, and let's do 14 point. So put it configuration down here, and the configuration is 1s2 space 2s2 space 2p6. The t negative two ion tells us that oxygen gained two more electrons. So whereas oxygen will be 2p4, the oxygen two minus ion will be 2p6. Okay. Next, we can draw some arrows. If you click more up here, it gives you an arrow, which is kind of fun. And we can do a little up arrow and a little down. Oops. We can do a little down arrow. We can make them different sizes. Line width is probably going to be smaller. So we can do an up and a down, and we can do an up and, a, you know, and so on. You get the idea. All right. And let's go ahead and finish it up and down. All right. So and so on. You know, so whatever it happens to be. So you figure it out. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna answer that part for you. All right. So the important thing is you filled it out by doing a bunch of ups and downs and one s two is a bunch of text boxes. Now you can save it. You can upload an image here if you want. Um, you can save it here. But this double arrow right here, this double down arrow, is save and download the PDF, which is what you're gonna do, because you're gonna dump the PDF right into the Canvas text box. Save and download. Okay. Now it's saved. You can't see because my, my screen is much huger than 1080p and I'm recording at 1080p, but it's down there. Now, when you come back to your ion configurations, there's your assignment. You're going to submit the assignment and it's going to drop the text box like always down here, like in every, every Canvas activity. You're going to use this button over here, which is upload document. So upload document and there's your file. Find your downloads directory with the file that you just downloaded and drag it there and submit. And now you've submitted the PDF just like you downloaded before. Okay, so you can also click, this is actually kind of fun, this is what teachers do, so you can see the PDF uh, fold out in the actual assignment. You click on it and click link options, and then click the little box here. And when you hit enter, it says, all right, fold it out for the teacher. I'm like, oh, thank you. Hey, oh, you turned it in. All right, so now when I grade it, I'm going to leave the student view so you can see what I'm seeing. I'm going to go to the assignments. There's going to be the ion configurations down here. I'm going to hit the speed grader. This is why I want you to do this. So now the test student's the only person who turned it in. It's going to show you the assignment and show you the work. 
So this way I can actually see the work that you've done in the PDF on the exact same screen as Canvas. And better, once I grade it, you can see your work. So I can come back and say, um, good electron config, um, fix, oops, fix orbitals, orbitals. Okay, and I can hit submit. Okay, and then you get your grade. Okay, so that's what we're going to be using from now on. Um, I'm going to have the file. Once again, I'm going to have the file in here. You're going to click on it. Then you're going to go to PDF Escape, and you're going to upload it. And uh, and then you're going to edit in here, and then do the double arrow to save. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. That's where we're going to go from here on out because the the PDF editor in uh, in Teachers Pay Teachers is just really clumsy for what we're doing. I realize this is a lot of arrows, but I think you can handle it. All right. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. Email me or whatever. I'm going to post this video to uh, the announcements where you're going to see it, and hopefully you're going to view it, and we can we can go from there. I also mention it tomorrow. All right. Bye bye.